Good afternoon. Uh, we will start the afternoon session. Uh, can you hear me, Aurelian? Yes, I hear you. Please. Okay. We can also hear you. Thank you. So, uh, the first speaker of the session is Aurelian Eiser. Uh, sorry by the pronunciation of your name. I don't know how to pronounce in the proper way. And uh, he will talk about it's the like it's written, like it's written. Aurelian is <laughs> Ah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, dynamics uh, of entropy production and he need to quantum correlations in two mode Gaussian open system. So you have 35 minutes to present, and uh, we will also have uh, five minutes for questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, dear colleagues, dear friends, dear Victor, I am very pleased to participate at uh, the workshop uh, organized uh, in your honor. I have seen uh, your presentation on Monday. They are very impressive. I am very glad that uh, I can participate uh, at this uh, workshop. I am sorry that I could not come to be present uh, in person, to be present physically at, uh, at uh, this workshop. But anyway, uh, during our time, the distance is short and uh, now I feel like I was, I were, I am in uh, together with you uh, in the auditorium. Thank you very much for uh, inviting me to give a presentation to this uh, very nice uh, workshop. The presentation is um, related to present some results about the dynamic. and quantum um, system. Uh, the work is made in collaborations with uh, uh, my postdoctoral student, uh, Tatiana Mihaescu. So the outline of my presentation consists in the following ideas. I will discuss about the Markovian time evolution of the entropy production rate as a measure of irreversibility generated in a um, bipartite quantum system consisted of two coupled bosonic modes immersed in a, in a common thermal environment. The dynamics which describes the evolution of open quantum systems is given in the framework of the formalism of the theory of, of the theory of open quantum systems based on Professor, can you hear me? You, your presentation is not working. I cannot hear you and your image is frozen. Maybe if you try to to close your image, cl uh, close your, your camera. Avisa lá então. Ai, agora é o...
Professor, can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you. Okay. Uh, you know how it I... was an interruption. It yes. was an interruption. We need you to share screen again the same way that you did. So, um, okay, I see a presentation. Now, yes, you can see, good. So, yes. um, so uh, the rate of, ent I will show that uh, you hear me, yeah? The rate of entropy yes. production, the rate yes. of the entropy now, production. Uh, the, now we hear you. Okay, the rate of entropy production of the initial state and the final, the asymptotic non-equilibrium stationary states, and also the time evolution of the rate of entropy production strongly depend on the parameters of the initial um, Gaussian state. Uh, this means squeezing parameter, average thermal photon numbers, frequencies of modes, and the parameters characterizing the thermal environment, temperature and dissipation. And of course, on the strength of the coupling between the modes. Uh, and finally, I will uh, provide a comparison of the behavior of entropy production rate with uh, any two mutual information. information. Uh, um, as you know, uh, entropy production is a basic concept in non-equilibrium uh, thermodynamics, class both classical and quantum. Um, it is related to the second law of thermodynamics and it quantifies and um, uh, quantifies the degree of the irreversibility of physical uh, processes processes. According to the second law of thermodynamics, the entropy change of the state of a system that exchanges energy with the uh, environment at some at, uh, temperature T is given by this uh, expression number one. Um, the strict inequality in this uh, expression, the strict inequality, characterizes an irreversible process. When we have equality, then we don't have irreversibility. The difference between these quantities, when it exists, this difference, it's done, it's named, it's named entropy production. And, um, and uh, so besides the entropy that flows from the system into the, uh, into the environment, some additional entropy is intrinsically generated by the process, during the process. And um, this expression here, the difference between this quantity, entropy production rate, uh, entropy production, it is always uh, non-negative and it has zero value only when the system is in equilibrium, is in thermal equilibrium with the environment. And it characterizes the degree of the irreversibility of entropy of um, processes. By taking the time derivative of this expression, we obtained the expression on the um, right part here in the uh, formula two. And uh, we denote by P the irreversible entropy production rate, entropy production rate. When the system reaches a stationary state, a stationary state, these two quantities here, these two quantities P and phi, um, take equal values. They have positive values. They um, are equal values. And so um, if they are equal, but equal to zero, then the system is in equilibrium, in thermal equilibrium with, uh, with the environment. And our uh, purpose is to study the evolution of the rate of entropy production rate in the considered system that I presented you before. Um, in order to study the evolution of open quantum systems, you can see here uh, on the slide, the famous 
Markovian, uh, Mark, uh, Gorini, Kosakovsky, Sudarshan, Lind, Blood Master, Master Equations for the, dens for the density operator row of the open systems. Um, it is written in the Schrödinger representation. Uh, the first term on the right hand side represents the, the description of the evolution of, an, of a closed systems. It is uh, it consists uh, it represents the Liouville for Neumann Liouville uh, evolution for open for uh, closed systems, and the the interaction with the environment with it is given by um, this uh, sum here. This is famous. You already know this. Uh, you have seen many times this uh, master equation who was uh, introduced in um, in quantum mechanics by uh, two groups of people actually Lindblad's Lindblad's uh, work alone um, Lindblad is a Swedish uh, physicist he um, passed away uh, some uh, some months ago and uh, the the other group who introduced this Markovian master equation for the evolution of open systems is given by Gorini, Kosakowski, Sudarshan. Uh, by the way, Kosakowski, uh, Polish physicist, also um, passed away some uh, months ago uh, due to COVID. And so, uh, the Hamiltonian of the considered system has this form here. So we have a system consisting of two bosonic modes Mod bosonic modes coupled in uh, coordinates. Q is the coupling, uh, the coupling constants. Uh, X, Y, P, X, and P, Y are the dimensional, dimensionless position and momentum operator of the two modes. And uh, we introduce this vector of canonically conjugate quadrature operators for the two bosonic modes. You know that um, for um, bosonic systems, the whole information when we work with Gaussian states, when we describe the evolution given by Gaussian states, is given by, is contained in the so-called covariance matrix. For the bipartite system, the covariance matrix is a 4 by 4 uh, bimodal covariance matrix. The expression of the matrix element of the covariance matrix are written here. Um, actually, re they represent second order moments, second order moments. I neglect here, I neglect here the, um, the influence, uh, the uh, first order moments, the first order moments, since usually when people describe quantum correlations by uh, local symplectic transformations, one can put this uh, first order uh, moments equal to zero. So we have uh, the Hamiltonian, we have this operatorial master equations for the density operator, and uh, it can be transformed into an equivalent equation, the Lyapunov equation for the, for the covariance matrix here covariance matrix here. A is a drift matrix, which depends on lambda. Lambda is the dissipation rate. Omega 1 and mega omega 2 are the frequencies of the two bosonic modes. And Q is a coupling constant between the two bosonic modes. D is the diffusion coefficient, is the diffusion matrix taken in this form, it depends on the parameters of the environment. Lambda, the dissipation parameter, and temperature of the environment, temp temperature of the environment. The solution of the Lyapunov equations has this form, has this form here. Sigma S is a covariance matrix um, at time tending to infinity. And M is the exponential of the drift matrix. The relation between these quantities is written here. Um, 
we consider the case of Q, it's different uh, from zero, because when Q is equal to zero, the asymptotic state, the asymptotic state is a jeep state, usually jeep state, which describes the equilibrium between the system and the environment. And, this, and in this case, we don't have irreversibility. Everything is uh, simple. Entropy production rate is uh, zero. So in order to um, have something for which we can say something about irreversibility process, we have, we have to take Q different from zero. The ex in this case, when Q is different from zero, the expression of the um, covariance matrix, stationary covariance matrix at, uh, at time infinity is quite complicated. While when Q is equal to zero, this covariance matrix, asymptotic covariance matrix, is simply proportional to the diffusion matrix, to the diffusion matrix. So, um, the master equation that you have seen before, that you have seen before, is an operatorial, operatorial master equations. So, but in order to obtain analytical results, in order to solve it, uh, there are many methods. Uh, there exists method of characteristic functions. There exists of method of uh, um, of uh, Fokker-Planck type equations for um, quasi-probability distributions. For example, for the Q, uh, Husimi, for the Husimi functions, for the Glauber uh, quasi-probability distributions, and the most famous maybe Wigner for Wigner distribution uh, function. So, passing, passing um, to the description of the evolution. Uh, systems in the phase space formalism. This means by using the covariance, uh, the Wigner distribution function, the expression of the entropy production rate is given by this formula here, by these formulas here, where a K is a Wigner relative entropy, relative entropy, re entropy relative entropy between the actual um uh, Wigner function at some moment t and the uh, Wigner function of the stationary state. This is the main this is the main object that um, we studied in the in the present uh, in the presentation. So in order to calculate in order to calculate the expression of uh, rate of entropy production, uh, I used I used um, the formalism which was introduced by uh, these people here, Zicari, Brunelli, and Mauro Paternos Paternostro, in recently, two years ago. The expression of rate of entropy production is quite complicated, and uh, it depends, of course, on the covariance matrix on the diffusion matrix, on the drift matrix, here, the expression. This is a general expression at any moment of time. In particular, um, when the system reaches the asymptotic non-equilibrium stationary state sigma s, the expression takes this a little bit simpler form. And um, in uh, our study, we discuss about the evolution of rate of entropy production for our system, for our boson, uh, two bosonic uh, coupled uh, system. We work in the framework of continuous variable uh, systems. So we work with uh, Gaussian states, in particular with squeezed thermal states, for which the covariance matrix has this form this form here, A, B, C depend on N1 and N2, which are the average thermal photon numbers of the modes, and R, R is the um, squeezing of the initial states. When um, N1 
and n to i equal to zero, then the thermals, the squeezed thermal states becomes a squeezed vacuum state. So um, now, before showing you how uh, the entropy production rate behaves, I will introduce you the Gaussian Rennie mutual information. In the last years, in the theory of quantum information, uh, people start to work um, not with the, uh, not only with the von Neumann, von Neum uh, for, with the mutual information based on the von Neumann entropy, but also using the Rennie alpha, so alpha Rennie um, entropy. For um, the Wigner distribution in uh, the phase space has this general form, this general form. Uh, usually people work, as I said, using the von Neumann entropy. An alternative quantifier of quantum information contained in the Gaussian states is Shannon entropy of the Wigner distribution, which has this expression here. Sigma is the covariance matrix. So um, Rennie introduced a family of entropies, which is called Rennie alpha entropy in quantum into information theory. The expression of Rennie alpha entropy is given here, is given here. When um, alpha is equal one, Rennie entropy becomes the usual for Neumann entropy. And uh, for um, alpha equal two, we obtain the Rennie entropy of order two, which started, as I said, um, is uh, very much used in quantum information theory. For alpha equal to two, the uh, uh, Rennie entropy is given by this expression and uh, it actually it is related it is related to the purity of the quantum states of the states row purity is given by trace of rho squared and this is um, Rennie to entropy it is related to the entropy uh, um, by this uh, minus sign and by logarithm so these two expressions, purity of states and Rennie to entropy, are related by these uh, relations. In addition, Rennie to entropy is equal with the Shannon entropy of the Wiener distribution, given by this expression, uh, up to uh, up to this constant, up to this constant. So. Um, now, um, using the Rennie to entropy, the Rennie to entropy, one can calculate the Rennie to mutual information. You know that um, in quantum information theory, mutual information contains the whole quantity of of correlation in a system, both classical and quantum, and. Uh, Rennie to mutual information is given by this expression here. S2 is a Rennie to entropy. Rennie to entropy. Once we have already, once we have already the expression of the of the covariance metric of the systems, then the expression of uh, Rennie to mutual information reaches this form here this form compact and simple and simple and um, so mutual information in particular Rennie to mutual information measure the whole information of the correlations uh, it gives the total quadrature correlations between the two systems a and b in the considered state uh, here you will see the expression of the Rennie to mutual information in the stationary states when time 
when time tends to infinity. The expression of the gen the general expression of the Rene to mutual information is very complicated, and I put here only the expression of the Rene to mutual information in the stationary in the asymptotic stationary sets. It it depends, and uh, also in the particular case of resonant modes. One two is equal with uh, one. Uh, omega 1 e equal with uh, omega 2. Uh, it depends also on the dissipation rate. But what is interesting is that it does not depend on the temperature, on the temperature. Having this expression of uh, mutual information, or range to mutual information, both depending on time and uh, at the infinity, um, we calculated the we describe the evolution of the rate of entropy production and of Rene to mutual expression. You can see that both these quantities are increasing, are increasing by increasing the squeezing parameter of the initial chart, of the initial state. Um, in general, Da, uh, I have to. Uh, da, in a few minutes, I uh, in a few minutes I finish. Uh, so, in general, both rate of entropy production and uh, mutual information are decreasing in time. They are decreasing in time, but don't de don't tend to zero value. This is mainly due to the fact that the two bosonic modes are correlated in coordinates. Are correlated. Um, um, here you can see the, um, the behavior as the function of temperature of the environment. For the uh, mutual information, it's more simple. You can see the, that temperature destroys the, destroys the mutual information. This is, uh, this is uh, normal. That everything, uh, temperature in general destroys everything. But concerning the rate of entropy production, that's for short values of time, for short values of time, the behavior is, is a little bit more uh, complicated. First, entropy production rate is decreasing with the temperature, but afterwards, it's um, increasing with uh, temperature. Here you show the evolution um, as a versus dissipation rate. Entropy production rate in general increases with the dissipation, while, while and, uh, mutual information is decreasing. Dissipation also destroys quantum, uh, uh, quantum correlations and general all correlations. Um, here it's written, it's showed here that uh, the behavior as a function of the coupling between the two modes. The coupling favors, favors the existence, the presence of uh, rate of mutual information. If when the coupling is zero, you see here, we don't have rate, we don't have rate, rate of improvement production. We cannot speak about irreversibility. Uh, uh, likewise, for the rate of, uh, for the mutual information, quantum, uh, the coupling between, uh, the coupling between the modes favors the existence of mutual informations. This is a picture that's the infinity of time, that's the infinity of time. We can see that rate of entropy production is increasing with the coupling, is increasing also with the temperature, with the temperature. Um, here is the behavior for the mutual information, Rene to mutual information. Uh, mutual information is increasing with the um, coupling between the, um, the modes. Um, we can see again that in the stationary, non-equilibrium stationary states, the entropy production rate is increasing with the dissipation, is increasing also with the temperature, contrary to the contrary to the mutual information. For mutual information, um, mutual information uh, is decreasing by increasing the dissipation rate. So the, con the general conclusion is um, that um, both these quantities, entropy production rate 
and uh, mutual ready to mutual information strongly depend on the parameters characterizing the state of the system, the Gaussian state, the squeezing um, photon uh, thermal numbers, uh, frequencies, and most of all, on the coupling between the bosonic modes. In general, temperature and the dissipation destroy correlations, destroy mutual information, while uh, dissipation rate and temperature favor favor the existence of uh, mutual info of uh, um, entropy production. So, lambda dissipation rate and coupling um, contribute to the existence to the presence of the irreversibility in uh, in systems. Um, uh, it is. It would be interesting to um, develop the the model and to work instead of um, instead of um, thermal environment with a squeezed thermal environment. Uh, here there are some problems due to the squeezing. The model is much more com complicated, but uh, it would be interesting to to study to. Um, to develop further this uh, model. Um, so I thank you very much for your attention. And I am sorry that uh, it was this interruption uh, uh, during my presentation for some uh, two, three minutes. Thank you very much. Once more, uh, congratulations, uh, Victor, for your uh, beautiful uh, anniversary and uh, I am very pleased to wish you good success in the following. So we still have time for a uh, 30 seconds, 40 seconds question. Anyone? <laughs> want, want to make a very fast question? Uh, oh, uh, do what was microphone? Oi, uh, Aurelian, uh, thank you very much for interesting talk. Uh, uh, you showed in one uh, formula, it seems to me, entropy pro uh, uh, production rate uh, depends on many parameters but does not depend on temperature. Uh, do you have some explanation why temperature uh, did not enter that formula? Yes, I think um, um, the temperature um, is present in an expression, in an expression where um, uh, there exists both, both uh, uh, both uh, uh, frequencies of the two modes, and we when we take when we take uh, these modes having the same the same frequency, the terms become zero, and so the factor which contains temperature it uh, disappears. So uh, this is a formal po point of view, but from the um, from the physical point of view, from the yeah, from the interpretation of this, I don't know. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, I have to think because it's a very interesting uh, question. So, from formal point of view, this is clear. But um, uh, from the physical, yeah, for the physical interpretation, I don't know what to say for the moment. But I will think. Thank you very much for the remark, for the observation. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your talk. So thank you once more. Let's thank the speaker again. Thank you. Thank you very uh, much again. Thank you. So the next speaker.